What's poppin' YouTube? Make sure you hit that like button, cause I could sit here all day and flex until you do it. And you know I will, I look good than a motherfucker too. Huh? Stop hating, man. This shit is free, dog. The likes is free, you cheap motherfuckers. Huh? So, this what I got for y'all today, right? I wanted to go over the whole topic of is bodybuilding gay? And, you know, my take on it, right? So, your man Andrew Tate reacted. Let's hear what he had to say. But hit that like button and stop trying to play me. It's a beauty pageant where dudes try their best to put on muscle so other dudes can say, you're the... The only other top gene never misses, and this is no different. Bodybuilding is a beauty pageant. Where dudes try their best to put on muscle so other dudes can say, you're the best looking dude. It's gay. It's now stop right there, right? So, I think he's speaking from an overall perspective in which, you know, anybody who's in this sport could, you know, see where he's coming from. But at the same time, you're dealing with somebody, a street nigga mentality and a nigga that been in jail and prison. So, me, I never did it. As a look, I always been about survival. That was my main cause to, you know, altering my body or working out. And it also was a stress reliever. It was something that helped me to, you know, release and to relax when, you know, I wasn't really getting that cooperation from, you know, the biddies like that. But yeah, let's go. Let's keep it going. Super day. Unlike bodybuilders, I'm actually a personal trainer in real life. Despite my YouTube audience being almost entirely male, the people I train in real life are girls between the ages of 18 and 22. Before you say it, no, I'm not addicted to ass. I randomly get assigned clients. These girls come in in pretty good shape and have the attitude of, I get runners to take forward head bodybuilder and be more obsessed with themselves. Okay, so... so that was what he had to say on that. And he got some more stuff that I'm going to play another clip, right? But, um, you know, to a certain degree, yeah, there's a lot of dudes. There's a lot of egos. There's a lot of, you know, pissing competitions to where, you know, oh, I look better than you and this and that. But, see, I never got into that. i always been the type to congratulate dudes, you know, win, lose, or draw, and, you know, show respect and show that humility. humility. But it did come a point in time where I'm not going to lie to y'all, right? And this is my confession for real. When I had to go into them locker rooms, I I, I I was traumatized to a certain degree to where I learned how to walk into the locker room and get to the bathroom without even looking at anybody. You know what I'm saying? I just stayed in my head and I looked up because you got to understand, it's people that's preying on dudes like me. You know, when I was younger, coming out of jail, going into them gyms and Nobody never schooled me on what was going on. And, you know, people was asking me to bodybuild and do these things. And I just looked at it as an opportunity. You know, I never looked at it as trying to show off or trying to, you know, um, dive into any new world. So I was completely naive. But today I'm going to tell you, man, it is. They, they got a lot of control in that industry, man. And, you know, I was ducking it like the Black Plague for a while, man. But. See, I, I got to give y'all my confession like Usher, man. This is my confessions! Huh? Thought it was one on the side. So she got two on the way. This is my confession. So look, this is what else he had to say about it. This was funny, too. Andrew Tate thinks bodybuilders are losers and cowards. But he actually makes a good point. Bodybuilders are losers because they don't want to be Every bodybuilder I've ever met wants to be a fighter. Any bodybuilder on here who disagrees with me, if you really want to make a point of it, let's get in the cake. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, Tate, let's get it on, baby. Let's do it. Let's get it for the views, man. Now, nah, but shout out Andrew Tate. I see you on the Fresh and Fit podcast. You know, those guys, they, they got some things going on with them. And, you know, but see... I respect everybody's opinion, whether I agree or disagree. I still respect his opinion as a man, for one. For two, me, I've been in sports my whole life, so I never looked at myself as just a bodybuilder, you know what I mean? But I do see where he's coming from now, going through the experiences, what I went through, man. Like I said, man, I wanted to die. I still be wanting to kill myself. You know, I, I, I struggle with mental health. And uh, this is something that I feel like we should start trying to get people to take serious because it's like, Everybody got their choices and decisions to make. I don't knock nobody. I don't 
you know, uh, try to put myself, you know, outside of everybody's experience. I try to, you know, somehow just see myself and everybody. But, you know, clearly it's not the same when you've been pushed and, you know, you've been kind of try, kind of forced in certain situations that you had no idea was going to turn out that way, you know. I always used to see older dudes, you know, tell me I look good and this and that. And I just, you know, I was naive. I just thinking they saying it as a compliment. But now looking back, a lot of these dudes was probably on that gay for play. And they thought I was with that. So, but you know, I'm, I'm Jada, man. I'm like Jada, man. Real dudes ain't got to say no homo. And, you know, I always been on that type of time. But you see, it's a lot of dudes who overly try to play them AO and, you know, pause games that, you know, in New York that I was never with. And me coming from New York, it's like, man, you know, they everywhere, man. <laughs> they everywhere. So, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, shout out to the LGBT community, man, because even through everything, you know, I don't got no problems with these people, except for the ones in New York. The ones in New York know what they did to me, see? In Kentucky, in Ohio, I really don't even be bothered by the shit that happened to me in New York. I'm still traumatized by that shit, man. Like, Big old muscles, oh, yeah. and that means he's tight, and he's like, oh, oh. but men like this are like, I mean, look okay. at Mike Thurston. Okay, so yeah, man, I'm going to uh, cut this short, man. I hope y'all enjoy. Like, subscribe. You know, let's get on this move. Let's go on this wave. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think, man. Let me know what you think in the comments, man. One.